Hey everybody, alright, so I want to talk about color processing and Bluebeam. So this is a nice little trick if you got a drawing or markup or whatever it is and it comes in as a as a, a color drawing like this and uh, you um, you know if, if you're wanting to take it from this to a black and white or a grayscale or a or you want to change some of the colors within there like uh, red to maybe a, a orange or a pink or or a green whatever the case may be um, those capabilities are here within Bluebeam so to get into it um, if you go to the file uh, the document tab and then over here you'll see process drop that down um, and you'll see color processing and then within this dialog box you'll see there's a drop down up here it gives you a number of options and then some some uh, options within each one to change it um, the output and then down here at the bottom there's a before and after so it kinda just gives you a preview of it um, and what's so so modify colors is kind of cool so what this does is if you take red you know being that that's already on the current drawing and then I want to turn that to maybe a uh, a blue you can see over here in the after it shows you that and you can do it on a number of of uh, colors uh, up to four different items uh, different items that you want to change the colors to and then come up here you see colorize so this again gives you some options um, you can see it's kind of showing you in the background or in the after uh, changes the background and then also the color of, of the overall uh, lines grayscale that one's pretty simple you don't have the options other than process image black and white again no options um, you can just see here it's uh, um, in the after photo or image so this is kinda cool this image doesn't it doesn't affect it too much if you change the luminosity um, you can see a little bit of the difference here um, and with saturation and then hue um, if it's something that applies to the drawing and it helps it uh, and it gets you to where you want to do there's an option to do this and then mark images or mask images so there's a number of different tools within it's nice to know uh, it's all dependent on what you get but you know if you're if you receive a drawing um, it may just be easier you know if it's color and it needs to go black black lines or you need to change something uh, it may just be easier to jump into Bluebeam uh, bring the drawing in there and then do a little bit of editing and then get it then rather than send an email and then receive it later so um, I hope you liked the video please like share comment um, thanks a lot